Hello everyone, Wervin here, and this is part two of the colonization tutorial where we'll launch some core sampling probes in order to analyze the entire planet. So we've already figured out that this planet is, is quite nice to settle on. Um, so now we want to see how the uh, resource distribution is. So to do that, I brought some core sampling probes. You can make these in your inner star base. Um, I'll make a tutorial on how to use the inner star base as well. Um, so you'll want to eject a um, core sampling probe in order to fly around and start scanning the planet. Uh, and you do that just like in the in the ejection uh, tutorial. So just ch eject one core sampling probe. Let's see. Sometimes the cargo hold makes a lot of sound. There, cargo hold closed. So now you see that one probe leaves the holds and um, one core sampling probe is now scanning ultimate last frontier. So this uh, will actually take a long, long time and it can take days or weeks or more. Um, I think it even depends on the size of the planet as well, but I'm not entirely sure about that. Um, so you can make it more efficient by adding more sampling probes. However, um, I'll teach you a way to calculate how how much sampling probes you want to use depending on when you want it to finish. So I'm just going to wait for 10 minutes and then I will um, show how much work this one sampling probe did and then find out how many sampling probes I want to add to this. So see you in 10 minutes. And welcome back. Ten minutes have passed and as you can see I'm not in space anymore. Well that's because I forgot to put the gravity anchor on which means the gravity of the planet actually pulls me towards it and then I crashed into it. Luckily there's uh, no damage from crashes in the game yet so I didn't lose my ship. So now I just have to get out of here. But yes, gravity anchor is important. There. So now we've waited for 10 minutes. So if I go back to the screen and say uh, show the sample maps, I think that was it. Or was it just sample maps? Ah oh, no, there it is. Um, you see, uh, yeah, this is another scan I'm doing at the moment of Black Hell. Um, so sample map of Ultima Last Frontier, there's one probe active. And it completed in the 10 minutes 0.00364894% of the entire scan. So it doesn't go very fast. So how would you calculate how many probes you want? Well, that depends on how much time you want it to take. But we can um, um, we can make a calculation for that. So I'll just write down 0.00364894. In one day, we have 60 minutes times 24. So we have 1,444, uh, 1440 minutes per day. And we just took 10 minutes to scan uh, the planet. So we have to calculate how many um, pieces of 10 minutes are in one day. So you divide it by 10. So there's 144 pieces of 10 minutes in one day. And in those 10 minutes, we uh, scanned 0.00364891191% of the entire planet. So that means, if we now present her, um, that we get about 0.5% scanning done per day. So that's very very slow so that means every two days you have one percent so that means it would take about 200 days uh, but we can actually calculate that um, so 0 0.525 0 0.5 just writing it down so we just do for a hundred percent scan it would take 190 days to uh, to complete the entire scan well i don't want to spend so much time on it so we need 
more probes. So let's say like here in the example in the wiki, if you ever want to review it, let's say we want to scan the entire thing in two days. Then you just divide this by two and you notice you need 95.23 probes, so 95 to 96 probes uh, in order to scan this planet in one day, uh, in two days. So that's how you calculate how many probes you want. So I'm just going to eject all these probes that I have. I've only got 19. Core sampling probes. Yep. Something went wrong there. Well, doesn't matter. Uh, in any case, I'll eject some more probes and once the probing is done, I'll get back with the results and we see where we could settle. So, um, see you next time.